Hello fellow geeks, my name is Bob and welcome to the every single time introduction for CDPeak.com presents video short takes. In this continuing series, we're looking at the media that we have consumed that we feel we can uh, adequately discuss within the course of a three minute time frame. So all these videos will be short and sweet and thank you for watching Seduction a million times if you're already a subscriber to us. If you're not a subscriber, welcome to the madness. And go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell so you get a notification every time something comes up, like, share, and head on over to cdveek.com to see everything else we're working on, whether it be longer form reviews, written, and video, our podcast, retrospective, everything that we're working on paranormal-wise, all sorts of stuff at cdveek.com. So head on over there and find us on Facebook as well for little bits of news that we put up that you don't put on the website. Thank you for tuning in, and hope you enjoy whatever video follows this introduction. Monster Brawl was released in 2011 and is a monster-based wrestling movie in which takes the conceit of taking eight uh, monsters of various types, undead, uh, curse, etc, etc. This is the mummy, a female vampire, a cyclops, stuff like that, uh, and fighting to the death or undeath or redeath, whatever, uh, in order to determine who is the best and strongest monster. Uh, so this could be an interesting concept, um, but unfortunately there isn't a lot to this. This isn't a very good feature at all. Uh, I'm a big monster fan, like Monster Kid. I'm wearing my Universal Monster shirt right now. Uh, and I, I like wrestling to, to a certain degree. And I enjoy the cheesiness of wrestling, of this is winky, over-the-top fun that comes along with that in the same way that they get Universal Parks. I like the the ride story and stuff like that. There's all this super cheese that comes with wrestling and I was hoping that would extend into this as well. But unfortunately, it's a very long 85 minutes of monsters battling badly. Uh, you have some amateur wrestlers, which are cool. I know a lot of amateur wrestlers who do put a lot of work in there. I'm sure everyone here is really good in the ring doing what they do regularly. But when you put them on this monster makeup and have them go off and fight, it comes off very underwhelming uh, with really basic moves, really basic looks, with a really sophomoric script to go around it. Uh, it's more of we had this idea, we have a green screen, some wrestlers to do this, some makeup we bought at a costume store, and for some reason Dave Foley from Kids in the Hall. And it's all it is, it's a, it's a meet the monster, they fight, they meet the next monsters, they fight, and it's sun so poorly that it feels like such a waste of concept. Like, this is the type of movie where we have the witch character and she's talking to her agent uh, who's a small person, leprechaun type thing, and he goes, well, what do you call yourself? She's like, witch? bitch and they think that that's the the, the conceit of the humor is that, that she's calling herself a bitch i'm the witch bitch and there's this focus on 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 saying bitch it's like that's not funny they're not using the characters for for the humor and something that comes in there uh none of the none of the moves are really based upon so that the characters can really offer besides like one or two things here and there uh leaving to a really repetitious even slow 80 minutes of monsters wrestling, which should be way more interesting than it is. So I'm not going to recommend this movie in any means. This is it was a slog to get through. I was watching it because my friends at the Grave Plot covered it a couple years ago, and I watched, I listened to their podcast, uh, watching everything that I haven't seen that they're covering. Um, so it wasn't a good movie. I don't recommend it in any means, um, even as a fan of wrestling or a fan of monsters and anything that comes out. So I'm going to give that a D. Of course, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get the next things coming out. See everything else working on the site. And uh, of course, I'm always plugging City Beak, so go to CityBeak.com to see what else we're working on. We just put up a Chucky review that's going to come out the same day as these that I'm filming. So uh, check out the new Child's Play and see everything else we got going on.